Hi everyone. So um, this is going to be my voice floating as I kind of walk you through how to um, critically read, to actively read. Uh, I have chosen the poem Incident by Natasha Trethaway, which you read because it's in the Prezi. But I always, with a poem, read the poem aloud to myself and then do my annotations. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, doing it the way I do it. Okay, Incident by Natasha Trethaway. We tell the story every year, how we peer from the windows, shades drawn, though nothing really happened, the charred grass now green again. We peered from the windows, shades drawn, at the cross trussed like a Christmas tree, the charred grass still green. Then we darkened our rooms, lit the hurricane lamps, at the cross, trussed like a Christmas tree, a few men gathered, white as angels in their gowns. We darkened our rooms and lit hurricane lamps, the wicks trembling in their fonts of oil. It seems the angels had gathered, white men in their gowns. When we were done, they left quietly. No one came. The wicks trembled all night in their fonts of oil. By morning, the flames had all dimmed. When they were done, the men left quietly. No one came. Nothing really happened. By morning, all the flames had dim, dimmed. We tell the story every year. Okay, so the first thing I would do is figure out what form of poem this is. I happen to know that this is a pantoum. Uh, so just so that you can see how that's spelled. Spelled like that. Um, I would definitely start with the title, uh, it being incident. I would write, you know, what thoughts come to mind. Something happened, probably not good. And then the way that I go through with poems is I annotate uh, stanza by stanza. So remember in a poem, they're not called paragraphs, they're called stanzas. They're not called sentences, they're called lines. So just just an individual sentence is a line as such the collection of lines is a stanza in poetry okay so we tell the story every year um this definitely makes me think about repetition um history shared family experience experience okay so it starts off that way uh, then how we peered from the windows shades drawn though nothing really happened the charred grass this would grab my attention nothing happened yet grass charred so I would kind of ask myself that question we peered from the windows shades drawn at the cross trust like a Christmas tree so here we have a simile using religious imagery cross equals not plus equals uh, Xmas tree. The charred grass still green. So this is before before the incident or as it's happening. We darkened our rooms, lit the hurricane lamp. So they're hiding from something. At the cross, trust like a Christmas tree, a few men gathered, white as angels in their gowns, seemingly safe, but obviously not really because of the charred grass. We darkened our rooms and lit hurricane lamps, the wicks trembling in their fonts. So even inanimate, or even unliving, unliving objects feel fear, the fear. 
It seemed the angels had gathered white men in their gowns. When they were done, they left quietly. No one came. The wicks trembled all night in their fonts of oil. By morning, the flames had dimmed, all dimmed. Wicks and the cross. When they were done, the men left quietly. No one came. Nothing really happened. By morning, all the flames had dimmed. We tell this story every year. Book end line. So this would help me to kind of understand what's important in the poem. And then I always kind of go through and summarize in my own words. This poem is about an incident, the narrator experience as a child. It references the KKK burning a cross in the yard and the child's experience of that. Um, the story is told again and again as remembrance and lesson. Remembrance and lesson to the next generation. This is a poem about racism and fear and how that carries on into the future. So, um, really, this is summarizing and analysis. So like this is the basic of how to actively read and then I would sit with it and if I were to write about it, I would decide, so how am I going to talk about what it means and why that's important based on the things I highlighted, the comments I made, identifying different literary devices uh, and reading it through the lens of the race, uh, critical race theory. So. Um, I just wanted to do a quick video to show you how to do everything that we talked about in this lesson. Uh, if you have questions, shoot me an email, come by my student hours, or post them to the discussion board that follows. All right. Thanks, everybody. Bye.